have another example of canister retrieval for the 2019 Sea Perch Challenge. This is the Wilmington Sea Perch Regional in Bolivia, North Carolina. If you notice, the ROV has already retrieved two of the canisters and they're placed on the staging stations. Come back. Notice what the driver did when he came through the hoop. He or she came through the hoop drove the ROV out a little ways to pull some tether cable through. So this is one of the big things that we have seen in regionals is that the students just go straight down through the hoop, straight to the ball and or the canisters, and then their tether cable is tangled around, or not, not necessarily tangled, but they don't really have enough slack in the tether cable. So it's got a lot of drag, it's pretty tight on the hoop. So they did a good job pulling enough tether cables through, but now you notice they're actually tangled on the tether cable a little bit. And they dropped the ball. Look at their hook on the pipe here. The hook is turned downward, so they're not really taking advantage of having that hook. I don't know if that was an accident and they put it on upside down or if it swivels somehow. Also, another little engineering tip here. Look how long their pipe is that has the hook on the end of it. So what happens when the ROV picks this up? Leverage. It's a, uh, The weight of it is a good distance away from the center of mass of the ROV. So, of course, it tilts down. And then they've dropped that canister. So now they're going after another one that they dropped earlier. See if they can hold on to this one. And sliding toward the end again, but it looks like it's got a little um, lip probably from a cap. It looks like they have some tape or something on there as well. And they've successfully come back through the hoop. So good driving there. And it looks like they're having, heading to the staging station now.